So Nick and I recently made a discovery. Our starter base, the one we've been using since June, is no longer safe in the current state. Let's say it was being raided. So they shoot down the double door. They shoot down the single door. And finally they shoot down the single door behind that. So. Normally, no one can get through here, right? Well, we had somebody tuck themselves in the corner, have their friend down them, pick them back up, and magically appear on the other side. So this is really bad. Uh, this ruins my entire design. It takes away the protection I once had, where they, they had to go through the walls. So it can't be like that anymore. Um, I have been in the iteration here. It's a little bit bigger, only five triangles added on, but it utilizes something people don't normally do. Barbecues, small boxes over large boxes. So a large box has five rows of six. Barbecue has two rows of six, and a small box has two rows of six. Keep in mind the size. So, let's do a raid slash tour. People come in, they're gonna blow through this door. They're gonna blow through this door. Assuming they try the exploit, we can use no clip to simulate. If they so much as show themselves, on this side, a laser will detect them, and they'll immediately be blasted away. So, a couple things here you notice are weird. This laser has four spinners over it. Three, sorry. Three spinners. What that will do is block the laser from being visible, but still allow it to function. This circuit here is the night and day power. It's schematic one of the picture I sent in Discord. It's pretty simple to make, just follow the picture. Um, two solar panels wired down through the roof. Root combiner, blocker, or electrical branch, or switch, and splitter. And of course a door opener. So depending on how much I want to upgrade these walls, I'm pretty much denying them from using that exploit. But I wanted to take it a step further. Here we can see the resources needed for this base. The high quality metal account might be daunting, but a night at junkyard will definitely give you enough high quality metal to make this base. So assuming your raider has got frustrated, blown through this door frame, and gotten inside, let's go deeper. Here you can see the barbecue and small box utilizing space. The purpose of this large box is to make it easier for you to get in here yourself. Of course, level 3 bench if you have it. So you can see immediately three window frames. Each window is 2C4. Two, 2, 4, 6. A garage door here in this frame would make it 8 the same cost if they were to blow through the armored door or wall here. Not one inch of space is unutilized. Uh, two furnaces, we were able to reach everything very easily. Anything more of a solo player might struggle to move around in here, so a duo might not be viable for the space. We have plenty of space here, we can reach everything. Another interesting factor is that this triangle can fit more space than a large box. Five rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're getting an entire row more of storage out of this little triangle than you are through this large box. And you're very easily, very easily able to move through without any trouble. Slide right in, slide right out. 
easy.